guys it's may here welcome to my channel welcome to cooking 101 since the coronavirus is an epidemic all over the world now i'm going to start cooking food that are helpful to boost our immune system so for today's dish i'm going to make sinigang for those of you who are non-filipinos when you guys heard the word sinigang it means sour soup so People that cook sinigang, it's either they use the tamarind, the real tamarind, as you guys can see it on your screen right now, or the tamarind-based soup, like this one here. Because here in North America, it's so hard to find the real tamarind. So for today's dish, I'm going to use the tamarind soup base. So... And today too as well, I'm going to use the vegetables that can help to boost our immune system. Coronavirus, we have to take it seriously now. It is spread all over the world and a lot of people already died. The last time I heard an epidemic was the one that was um, from Spain, as far as I remember. Because I was like reading the other night and... Um, the the stuff that i was reading was about the epidemic and the worst one that i read that happened a couple of years back was the spanish flu that they call it um it they call it spanish flu because it originated from spain um the virus came from spain and it spread all over the world as well and a lot of people died and now is the coronavirus so we have to you know take it seriously always wash our hands always you know keep our immune system healthy and strong so that you know we have um some kind of uh, uh tools to fight the coronavirus so for today's dish like again i said I'm going to cook sinigang and um, I'm going to cook the uh, pork ribs. So it's going to be pork ribs sinigang. And uh, I'm going to show you guys my ingredients so that uh, maybe if you guys want to cook this kind of stuff as well, then it will be, you know, great for our body. So let's go and um, I'll show you guys my ingredients. This is my pork ribs. And these are my ingredients for my sinigang for today. It's a very plain and simple ingredients so that everybody can follow. When you guys cook sinigang, for those of you that are non-Filipino, when you guys cook sinigang, you can use whatever kind of vegetables you guys want to use. There is no restriction. And as you guys know me, if you are following me for a long time, for two years now that I'm on YouTube, I always break the rules. Sinigang doesn't have to be with taro root all the time. You can use healthier, more vegetables so that it will, you know, keep our body um, healthy. So for today's dish, I'm going to use the spinach. One of the best vegetables to fight coronavirus is spinach. Another one is bell pepper, the red bell peppers. I have here some Roma tomatoes. This is like two pieces of huge tomatoes. I just cut it in half. One of the best fight to fight sickness is ginger, you guys. That's why whenever I cook food, especially with meat, I always put ginger on it. Scallions. Another best one to have is onions. Cabbage rich in vitamins and like again i said a while ago i'm going to use the mamacita sinigang sa sampalok mix this is the uh, tamarind soup base because like again guys i cannot find um the real tamarind and one of the things that you guys want to use if you don't like uh sampalok to use for your sinigang it's called bilimbi and in our language, it's called kamias. So you guys can use that one as well for sinigang. Or some people, they use tomatoes to cook for sinigang. They just add a lot of tomatoes in it to make it sour. So anyhow, let's go cook our sinigang, guys. I have here two pots. 
One is I'm going to boil my ribs, my pork ribs first before I turn them into soup. So I'm going to boil them for five minutes just to remove all those blood and some, you know, those brown residues that uh, you see that floats on on the water when you make soup i don't like that on my soup so i usually boil my meat first for five minutes just to remove all those gunk and over here i have another pot this is for my soup for making my soup so let's start so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to boil our ribs Over here on other pot, we're going to start making our soup. First, we're going to put our tomatoes. Ginger. Red onions. And scallions. We're going to let this one simmer for about 10-15 minutes just to give them a chance to extract their natural flavor and that's what makes our soup taste good. So let's cover this one up but we, we're not going to cover it totally so that this way it won't overflow. So just leave it like that. Okay friends, now my um, ribs are done so I'm going to transfer this one. I'm going to transfer our ribs to another pot over here. So, I'll show you guys how it looks like. So guys, this is our ribs now. I decided to boil them for about 15 minutes because I just want to make sure that there is no gunk left on the bones and there is no blood. So now I can use this one to make my soup. If you guys do your meat this way, the soup will taste better. Also, you're going to get a clear broth and nothing will float on your soup. As you guys can see, I'm just squeezing the tomatoes. The taste of tomatoes makes the soup taste good. Yeah. So we're going to let this one simmer for half an hour, you guys. Okay. Let's cover them back. And again, do not cover it all the way so it won't overflow. Just leave a little bit of um, space here to let the steam out. Otherwise, it will overflow. So, okay. I'll show you guys the next step. Okay, friends. After half an hour, let's check our ribs. Hmm. See guys, if you boil the ribs first before you turn them into a soup, look at the soup. It's nice and clear, hey? Look at that. Okay, so now I'm going to add 4 tablespoons of the fish sauce. So if you guys don't want to use fish sauce, you can just use the regular salt. So this is my fish sauce. I'm using the marca pina. So 4 tablespoons. This one is equivalent to 3 tablespoons. And a little bit more. There. And also, we're going to add our two sachet of the tamarind soup base. So, I'm using two sachet. Because I like my sinigang sour. Sorry guys, um... I don't know if it record, but uh, I noticed that the camera was off. So, 
I added two sachet of the Mamacita, the Mamacita mix, two of them, because I want my um, soup to be like really sour. And I also added my bell peppers and my cabbage. I'm sorry, um, I didn't notice that it was turned off, so, <laughs> and I was just talking. So now we're going to um, cover this one for 15 minutes. And for the spinach, we're going to add our spinach when everything is cooked. So this way, our spinach won't get soggy and overcook. So I'll show you guys the finished product. Okay friends, this is our finished product. This is our pork ribs sinigang. And I use the cabbage and spinach on this dish. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also, if you, if you haven't subscribed on my channel yet, you guys, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and have a blessed day, everyone. And may the good Lord bless us all. I hope you guys like this recipe.